going down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Of it's under control, it's just a little tricky. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did good work on Pagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. With the Emperor's will, we have occupied Zepho, redistributing its inhabitants. This planet has failed to yield significant data or relics for Project Augur. Its electromagnetic winds have rendered the bulk of our mining technology useless. Meanwhile, more stormtroopers lose their lives to dangerous fauna. We will not be able to fulfill our directive here. It is my recommendation that we disband the project and leave a token outpost to keep scavengers from stealing our technology. Did it. My friend, take a look at the detail on this bark. The distinctive striations. It can only be a rosier tree from Kashyyyk. It's time to call on an old friend. If the Zepho had contact with Kashyyyk, there is a good chance Chieftain Tarful will know about it. Nice work out there, kid. Hey, you got some real moves on you. <laughs> Just tell me that this visit wasn't for nothing. I found the tomb of a Zepho Sage. They definitely used the Force. An advanced civilization of force wielders who mysteriously vanished. No wonder Master Cordova became so obsessed with them. What else did you find? Before they disappeared, the Zeppo journeyed to the planet Kashyyyk. Oh. Cordova had a Wookiee friend named Tarful. Maybe we can find him. Kashyyyk, I look, things are really bad down there. The, the Empire's muscling in on those Wookiees big time. So we better get ready for a fight. Oh. I think this lifestyle suits you. Fighting that walker seems to have made you more confident. So, how are you holding up? I mean, with the Force? Yes, with the Force. I know you said it could be overwhelming. I haven't gotten myself killed yet. I'd rather not talk about it. Yeah, well, I understand. More than you realize. Well, why'd you choose to stop using the Force? When the purge started and our clone troops turned against us, my Padawan and I took several younglings and we went into hiding. But we didn't last long. Imperial Patrol was about to discover our location, so I tried to lure them away from my Padawan Trilla. She stayed behind with the younglings. But they caught me. And they tortured me. I wanted to know about the others and how many were left, but 
Mostly they wanted to know about Cordova and where he went. But you escaped. Yeah. It was a prison riot. I saw my opportunity and I took it. But they almost broke me. And I am not the same as I was, Cal. Your Padawan. Did she survive? No. But that's why we can't give up. We can't let the sacrifice of those closest to us be for nothing. Please, I'm trying to collect my thoughts. The homeworld of the Zephyr. Cordova must have spent a lot of time here. Cordova spent his life studying the history of the galaxy in many different places. Dragged me along on a few expeditions. It was educational. He really believed in the past? He believed in the future. But you can't have a future without the past. Yeah, you and me, we're unstoppable together. Don't you think, kid, huh? The man is in grades. Every time, perfect landing. You could say that. Ever piloted a ship before? No, mostly just scrapper transports and Braca. Oh, kid, you gotta get in the cockpit sometime. Feel the controls in your hands and the galaxy in your grasp. Oh, it's unbelievable. Sounds good. Let me know when. Huh? No, not mine. Not the Manus, no way. I'm just saying you should try it sometime. But with someone else's ship. Tell me we're not running that blockade. Oh, only as a last resort. I've rigged the Mantis' transponder to transmit Imperial signals. Hey, Grease. Yeah? Keep your power signature low and act like we belong. Just like Bracca. No, it's right. I don't need another set of hands. Just please keep your eye on the scanner. All please. Right. All right. All right. I don't see anything. Preoccupied with something on the ground. We're clear. That doesn't look good. The Empire is devouring Kashyyyk for its natural resources. Mookies have been enslaved or displaced. Oh, that was a close one, kid. Aren't you supposed to be watching the monitors? Guerrilla fighters, Wookiees and off-worlders ambushing an Imperial convoy. Walkers approaching their position. Tarfa could be with them. Awful could be anywhere, like deep in the ground, like we're gonna be if we get caught up in that battle down there. We don't have any other options, and, and we'll die without our help. So what's your plan? Sabotage. We use the scrap walkers on Braca. I'll just jack one. <laughs> get a load of the kid. He thinks we're back in a Clone Wars. Captain, <laughs> get us near those walkers. Wait, what? Listen, those walkers double as troop transport, so once you get inside, be careful. I have no freeze breeze to work this magic. Hey, do me a favor. Stay alive down there. I'll add it to the plan. Right if you're jumping, you better do it now, kid. You ready for a swim, BD? <laughs>
return to report fatalities. This is L97240 reporting in. We've got confirmed casualties. It's the Jedi! I'm on him! Starcover! He's dead! We've almost got him! I know it would end like that! on scanners. They brought more firepower than we thought. How's our hull looking? Badly damaged. We're at 70% integrity and falling. That should still be enough to stop out these insurgents. Keep us steady. Yes, sir. Huh? <laughs> it actually worked. Okay, uh, throttle. Report, what's happening over there? You're in violation of Imperial Protocol. Shut that guy up. <laughs> Let's do this. So those are the blasters. You said it. That's out of the way. Brought Nada to the table. Who are you? Someone making the Empire angry. We're benching on an imp landing pad up ahead. With my fire support. Copy that. Let's make them even angrier. They won't be using that anytime soon. Protect the Gorilla Fighters. Just keep coming. I'm okay. You all right? No, you're not doing that again. You just wrecked a perfectly good walker. Got a name? Cal Kestis. Saw Guerrero. What are you doing on Kashyyyk? Looking for somebody. What are you doing here? My companions and I came to Kashyyyk to disrupt Imperial supply lines. Hey! Who are you looking for? A Wookiee chieftain named Tarful. Tarful is impossible to find. There's a reason he's evaded the Empire for this long. He's a freedom fighter? He's THE freedom fighter. A symbol of the Wookiee resistance. Striking at the Empire from the Shadowlands. Huh. Seer, Grease, this is Saul. How you doing? What do you want with Tarful? Jedi business. The Jedi are dead. Not all of them. <clears throat> Get that over corpse. The master gave it to me. This pad supports an imperial refinery that runs on Wookiee slave labor. 
Intel suggests that some of the captives there are guerrilla fighters. I should help them. One of them might know how to contact Tarful. It's possible. Whoa, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. The Manus works wonders. I mean, it's a great ship, excellent pilot, but it is not built for close support. We'll stay here and monitor Imperial transmissions. With a bit of luck, we'll intercept any distress calls. Appreciate it. My lieutenants and I will scout ahead to prepare the attack. Join us when you're ready. Go, go! Glad you're all right. Yeah, yeah, good to see you, too. This place is a dump. Your plan worked. And now you want to follow Saul? You don't like that idea? I'm concerned you're jumping from one risk to the next. Wait, what? I fly my ship in the middle of a battlefield, and now we're talking about risks? Why didn't you stop me? My job is to guide you on your path, not choose it for you. So here's my advice. The Empire's overtaken hundreds of worlds. There's a reason Saw chose Kashyyyk. Saw's goals may not be the same as ours. We should be careful. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Imperial sap refinery lies dead ahead. What does the Empire want with tree sap? Nothing good. They refine the sap into a powerful compound, and they're rushing to expand production. We have to stop them. That's the plan. We don't know their end game, but they spread themselves too thin. This map we've recovered proves it. <laughs> Here you go, bud. These refineries double as brutal prison camps. We use those cutters to create a distraction while you take your lightsaber and free the Wookiees inside. We need their help to stop the Empire. Understood. Watch yourself in there. You hear that? So he needs my help. Come on, buddy. Tight fit, huh, BD? Flame beetles, they're coming through the walls. Hit their nest. No guards.
great work, Jedi. 